You're not supposed to play the game this way. I kind of okay, like that. Okay, so I have some findings. The findings are that you can play- Does he simply just live to break games? How's it going guys, Jack here with another video and welcome back to the chill zone or if you're new to the channel, welcome to the chill zone. So today we'll be checking out a raft video. Quick little thing about my experience with raft, I've played a game for, th actually I need to look at 36 hours I've played raft. I actually had to go and double check my world to see what it looked like or at least the last session that I played in my friend's world for we used to play it in like the very beginning of university 2018 and so forth uh, where we would try to play like the survivor type of fashion trying to make it as realistic as it can be but um i can only describe this game as being like the minecraft of the sea with a little bit of a sprinkle of one piece onto it and when i say one piece i'm not talking about the treasure that you find but rather the adventure and the fun that you have along the way Bruh. it would suck if the series actually end up being that way anyways we have here a video from a channel called let's game it out and this one has been highly recommended to me to check out so uh we'll be checking out here how i built a raft that defies reality and ignores physics right up my alley so let's get into it hey there it's josh welcome back to let's game it out we're playing some raft today one of my favorite games where you get to go under the open water oh. and only good things happen to you i've played this i game before, but never made it this far stuff so let's fire it up and see how wrong we can play it so you get rockets where this is our raft that's garbage and that cruising in the water is our best friend that's how i explain Bruce. that they follow us around forever let's take a closer look i'd like you to meet grace she likes to swing by and remind us that we shouldn't just get off the raft grace oh i guess well you can just go with whatever name you want I suppose it's just, it was named Bruce, right? After the one in Jaws. Or we want to, or else we risk getting eaten. But you can see all this debris going by. We need to collect that so we can build stuff. And that's what this right. handy dandy hook the is basics. for. See that debris? You just take your hook and you just throw it. And then you just reel it right in. Yeah. And before you know it, you'll have pulled in all kinds of supplies like palm leaves and planks and ropes and whatever. And all if right. you're real lucky, you'll get one of these barrels full of stuff. And if we're <laughs> even luckier, there will be islands. At the moment, we're kind at the mercy of whatever direction the ocean wants to take us so all we can do is quietly hope that it takes us over to that island uh oh looks like we're passing right by now we could just jump off do our own thing because conventional wisdom tells you that but all your of raft is drifting away raft, right but what you don't know is the game builds the world around that raft not us so and everyone say bye bye raft bye bye and then we get thanos out of existence land a place to start a new life yeah, I freaked out when this first happened to me. It meant to be. If you get too far away from the raft, it just starts making stuff disappear. And that's when we start treading water for all of eternity while we watch the sunset. And you know, I thought about trying to swim for the raft. But let me tell you, once that thing's gone, I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's gone. gone. I even went underwater looking for Grace and waited until my oxygen ran out. Where I got treated to these ultra disturbing noises. <laughs> It's okay, buddy. Your sacrifice won't be in vain. So, you know, instead of that purgatory, maybe we'll just let it pass by. I'm sure there's plenty of other purgatories we can discover. Besides, right. one door closes, another one appears to open. Looks like we have a structure up there. Dang it, this thing's gonna pass us by too. We're just gonna risk it. Grace, leave me alone for now. <laughs> well, this one's kind of nice. Why can't I just stay? Uh-oh, we appear to be sinking. Quickly, get the cargo and get out of here. Come back to me, other rounds. Oh, yeah. Now, Grace, Theft listen, let's have an uneasy alliance, there, okay? But everybody's dead so it doesn't matter yeah that's what i meant okay well now we know those structures are for just stealing from and as you can see on the horizon we have something even bigger if you look at our building menu on the left there's all kinds of stuff we can build i would like to draw your attention to this sail <laughs> where we're gonna build a paddle and now we can defy the tides and go where we feel like going oh dear me it's getting a little dark and the darkness makes me sleepy i better go ahead and craft <laughs> oh, myself a simple bed okay, and let's go ahead and just put that down right here i'm sure that island will still be there in the morning right huh well i'll be it totally is and not just the <laughs> island too, but also crippling thirst and hunger, <laughs> as evidenced by these amazing sounds. Okay, hang yeah. in there, buddy. You know, I can't really tell if the island's getting closer. What do you think, Grace? No, oh, my tool just broke. Grace, did you do that? Well, it looks like- It's awesome how, like, the simplicity of, like, low graphics games just make for amazing gameplay. Like, the, you can just focus on the smaller things, right? Details like that, the sounds that you hear, they give you a sort of motivation, right? Because I, I, I could totally relax when playing rafts, right? Of course, friends make you freak out just a little bit because they end up 
ruining the stuff that you build. But if you play it solo, it's fun. It's like we won't be going to that island. Luckily, we have a backup plan for just such an occasion. It's called remembering I have food in my inventory. Mmm, raw beets. Okay, that handles the food needs, but we're still looking a little bit worse for wear. Probably because we really, really need that water now. So we're gonna build something called a simple purifier. You can purify one cup of salt water into fresh water. Oh, geez, which way is forward on this thing? Whatever, this is it now. Oh boy, we're cutting this close. Uh -oh. oh, Grace, can can you not? Oh, did I mention that Grace likes to eat the raft? Yeah, yeah you better build a harpoon. Or a spear. Now we gotta sit here and whimper until this thing is done processing. No thanks to you over there. Oh, it's done. Quickly, give me that fresh water. Ah, somehow everything's gonna be okay-ish. You know, and while I'm sitting here just collecting more garbage, I'm starting to run out of places to put it. So let's build some small storage. A delightful little cooler we can put on the very edge of our raft. Yes, thumbs up indeed. In fact, let's do two. Ah, there we go, much better. Oh, why isn't he expanding his raft? Is he just, nah, is he? Planning on just making it through the game on 4x4? Four four. But he said that he wanted to build a raft, right? Okay, I, I'm asking too many questions here. He might just be looking for a specific spot to start building. So he's saving all of his resources. Anyways, let's keep going. Finally, another island. Let's go ahead and make us another paddle. I'm glad paddling works as I just rake it through my water system. Okay. And look at that. I managed to get us wedged, which I'm sure means the raft will hang out. <laughs> build Isn't that a right, raft? bloody anchor. <laughs> yep, it's staying put, just like I intended. Get back here. No, you don't. No, you don't. How is it getting farther away? You know, the hell with it. Let's just make this throwable anchor. Except I have nowhere to put it. Because for <laughs> some reason, my raft is a little complicated. No thanks to some people. Well, I guess this one gets away too. Okay, I swear, one day, we're gonna land on an island. Until then, <laughs> let's make a building hammer. Useful for expanding your raft. And we're gonna right. use it to build on one whole space again. There, now we're nice and complete. Next thing we want to build is this sail. Because it'll nudge us in the right direction. Okay, let's see. Let's just <laughs> shove this in with everything else. Perfect. Looking great. And look, there's an island to test it on. Okay, let's go ahead and just swing this thing around. And with that, our days of paddling are over. And I can't actually tell if that island's getting closer, but I don't think it's getting farther away. Actually, yeah, you know what? It's definitely getting farther away. Well, what good are you if you're not going to do all the work? <laughs> but you know, at least there's one thing I can always rely on. Grace's contribution. That's cool. I didn't need that bed anyway. Let's go ahead and patch that problem she made. In fact, while we're at it, let's go ahead and extend the raft a little bit. You know what? Let's hold off on that whole island thing for now. Let's focus on expansion instead. Okay, and a good dose right, of expansion starts here with our research table. Used to research new items to craft. And I'm sure if I put this thing on the outer edge, there's no way Grace is going to eat it, right? Well, Grace is... Very graceful. You know what? I take it back. The next thing we need is not a research table, but is in fact a wooden spear. So the next time the biting happens, we're going to do a little pokey poke. Stupid Grace breaking my stupid <laughs> boat. I got an idea. Let's stabbing. build two rafts, which we're going to designate with these handy dandy signs here. You can write whatever you wish on this. Can I now? Oh, that's easy. All right, hold, please. I think I know what I'm going to do. Okay. Let's take a closer look <laughs> at my work. To the shark known as Grace. Please stop eating my raft. Sincerely, the man. Management. And just to make sure she sees it, let's cut a hole in the middle here. And then I'm gonna make one of these things. Shark bait. Keep the I shark see. busy. Hey, Grace, I have something for ya. Oh! Okay, Grace, I'm assuming you're also reading the sign while you enjoy that. Do we oh, have damn. an understanding? I'm gonna take that as a yes and leave her with her side of the raft. Because I learned oh, yeah, something that's else. True. If keeps I break hanging. all these little platforms leading to the other raft, our two little raft islands stay in formation. Wait, can I... I know that the game has been updated ever since, but like, I thought at some point that this was a bug. But it's, it's not. It's, it's a feature. Like, if they don't fix it, it's a feature. I do this with more little rafts. I guess only one way to find out. And the answer is yes. So I made quite a few. Who wants a tour? First stop is ye olde bedchamber. Only the finest crappy sleep happens here. And once you've gotten a good night's rest, let's hop on over here to our research station. Or as I like to call it, ye olde diary. Top secret. Don't oh my god. I've been playing this game wrong the entire time. We were just expanding a full-on platform where we build everything on. Okay, well, what do you know? Oh, let me catch you reading it. Past the research station, let's just drop in, take a quick swim to get over there. This one is yield for rent. I'm sure we'll find something to do with this eventually. <laughs> and then if we go back on over here, we have our water thingamabob, or as I like to call it, water world. <laughs> water world. You might be wondering, <laughs> yeah. what is this beautiful structure here? Well, let's take a look. This here is ye old chest room. Behold, chest locked to the walls haphazardly with absolutely no organization 
organization to speak of. <laughs> I just kind of open them up till I find what I'm looking for. So this is what we have for now anyway. And we shall name it Islands of Convenience. convenience. Totally not a lie. So this is the point in the game when things are finally going to start to come together. Because it's journaling time. And by that I mean research. We got all these things to yeah. research on the side Get here. The things like better stuff. weapons, a smelter, and so much more. Basically to unlock the item we have to research each individual component. So we're just going to marathon through and research all kinds of stuff until everything at our disposal is unlocked. And now it's time to learn, 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 yeah, learn. The mm, nets. So much learning. Yes, give me pop-ups forever, my favorite. Eventually, though, we get to these things we can't learn because we don't have stuff like metal ingots. That's okay. That's what those islands are for. Yeah. Quickly struggle over to the mast and re-aim it. We must reach that island. And there goes the fleet. A bunch of waffle-shaped rafts just... <laughs> it's so dumb. Dragged all along by a single bloody sails. <laughs> yeah, physics after that the building a while ago. Floating into the distance. Finally, nothing's gonna stop us this time. Okay, it looks like we've bumped into the island. Now Please remember the anchor. Formation. I'm even gonna use one of them throwable anchors to make sure we don't go anywhere. <laughs> Let's see what treasures await us. Now well, it looks like we got some trees, which obviously we're gonna chop down for beautiful resources. Mmm, coconuts. Can I eat this whole? Yeah. Sure can. It's good for your oh, teeth. Look at this. A white flower. And if I take that, it gives me the flower itself as well as some seeds. Not that I plan on doing anything with that. So instead, we're just going to litter. <laughs> Buy things. I'm glad they turn into little cardboard boxes, too. <laughs> so I can feel empowered to keep littering, knowing the ocean will take care of it. <laughs> okay, more trees to destroy. Coconuts to shatter my teeth on. Flowers to pick. And then no turtles were ocean. harmed in the making of this video. Right down there. Let's go. Here's where we swim down and find the other stuff we need. Stuff like sand and some of the seaweed and some metal ores or ingots, litter, not to mention some metal ore, as well as some copper and a brief cameo from running out of oxygen. Quite the haul we found here. Now we have the means to make things like dry bricks and metal ingots. First, we take a wet brick, which requires sand and clay, and then we take it and just leave it out in the sun for a while. And then we just wait 10,000 years. Ugh, so bored. <laughs> Even the sunset is boring. Oh, Smells done. Come here. Let's shove you in my diary. Yeah. Learn. And we're going to go over to our space for rent. Melty me bananas. And that's where the smelter's going. Now we're going to melt that metal. <laughs> and pull that out with my bare hands and offer some copper. Come here, singe my hands. And finally, some seaweed. And now let's research, research, research. And learn, 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 learn. And now that we're oh so smart. If only that was so, so easy. Available to us. We're going to build a personal favorite of mine. The collection net. Automatically yeah. catches items that float into it. You mean Industrialism. Do this anymore? Well, now you're speaking my language. So these things need to connect to another raft. So we'll kind of modify this guy a little bit and slowly but surely replace each little part. Okay, looking good. Ooh, and let's put one like what? Right over there? I think we can do that. Okay, great. Already doing its job. And we'll do another one like right over here. Okay. Kind of lost track of time there for a second. <laughs> Made quite a few more than I thought I would. I'm going to consider collecting materials to be a solved problem now. Especially yeah, all that much. stuff that didn't get caught and is just drifting right on by. And this is one of my favorite parts. Watch what happens when I collect this. Uh, my collection that runneth over. Now that we've researched all this stuff and we're basically PhDs and everything, we need to build this lovely thing. You know, just a radio receiver I made with some parts lying around. And in order to make this thing work, we're going to need to build a battery as well as plug in three antennas to this thingamabob down here. Last time yeah. the game scolded me for putting the antennas too far apart. This seems to be high, doesn't it? And one there, and then one right over here. Down like... Supposed to be elevated, aren't they? And one right over here. Yeah, that seems fine. That's not stressing out the cords at all, right? And we'll just put a battery right <laughs> Mayonnaise. You can make from mayo containers. Okay, let's fire it up. Requires higher altitude. Well, you require lower attitude. What do you think of that? Well, fine, <laughs> if you insist. I'll play your little game and move these higher. So we're going to give each one of these things their own platform. And we're going to dive into the wild world of staircases because they demanded it. Okay, this is coming together just like I hoped it would. <laughs> okay, I hope this is enough. It better be. I spent the time <laughs> making three of these dumb platforms. Evenly spaced apart and high in the air. So one. Let's go place the second one. Yeah. You're fine. And struggle to get over to the next one. Climb but, all but it's the not just the antenna. stairs. Place number two. Head on over to the next one. And three. Okay, what do you got for me? 
Really? Yeah. That's not high enough? Does this thing itself need to be higher? Also, yes, stellar job with the wiring. Oh, but it took like a million years to make these. I had to like build these beams all the way up and everything. Three times was enough, thank you. I don't want to do it a fourth. You leave me no choice. I'm going to half-ass this one. <laughs> when the game turns into... uh. Fortnite. God awful eyesore. Just look at that. Bask in the craftsmanship. Okay, seriously, can you please work this time? Okay, looks like we're in business. This little radar thing is gonna lead us to our next destination. So all we need to do is steer the ship in that direction. All controlled by this one sail down here. Also, I'd like to point out I tried <laughs> to make this look nice the first time. You wanted this game, not me. Okay, I'm into it too. Okay, sail. I'm gonna need you to go that direction now. Somehow mysteriously do this and take the whole fleet with you. So we Insane. use this radar to get to interesting points in the game. And that's where we're going to really speed up this playthrough. Because the first islands we hit were already in the game. I want to see the new content. So get ready for us to do this fast. By fast means Ugh. white. And by that I mean I'm going to skip ahead till we're there. Yeah. Oh my god, look, we're almost there. It takes oh, some fact, time. I think we passed it. Oh yeah, there it is. Come on, sail. Let's turn you around. Onward to this amazing structure. I'm gonna give the raft a helping hand. I'm sure this will really do something <laughs> right for all this. My god, I actually think it's helping. <laughs> now, I could probably just jump on right there. But why do that when I've got this? And huh. You're oh. fine. Okay, we're here. Wait, did he anchor his island? I don't think it did. Through this facility until we find a whiteboard. And here it is. Here's what we need. This Dude, post your which if we open up my pocket diary, lets us know that we need to go to hashtag 8449. Okay, let's get out of here and... Oh, you know, I think I forgot <laughs> to dock the raft. Okay, here we go. You can't escape me this easily, raft. I don't care if it took me all night to catch up to you. I am the captain of this vessel. Okay, Look onward to the next place. <laughs> oh, God, that's going to take forever. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey were here. Behold, it's a cruise liner. Mm. Oh, and my raft seems rather taken with these rocks. Now I'm going to trust you this time. You're not going to try and Please run away. Please use now. the anchor. So there's a lot of things we need to do in this place, but I'm going to break it down for you kind of fast. We basically need to break in, pick up a bunch of exciting supplies like this gas tank, and then we right. head to the bridge, set up a bomb, stare right at it as it blows up, and proceed. You're the captain now. First, we need this other post-it, which is going to tell us where to go next. But what we also need is this beautiful engine oh. schematics, as well as this over here, the steering wheel. wheel. Allows you to rotate your raft. Game, plural, rafts. Okay, I believe it's that point right there. Uh, this should go a little faster, though, and I'll tell you why. Remember that engine blueprint we found? Allows yeah. you to go in different directions and increases your speed. Well, I made one. I learned last time that one of these can power 100 platforms, and uh, I really have no idea how many platforms this is. Well, whatever. Let's place planks, get the fuel nice and high. I'm not really sure which direction we should tell it to go. Whatever, let's try it anyway. All right, it's <laughs> chugging along, and uh, I think it's having a little trouble. Okay, hold on. Let's put down another one. In fact, why stop at one more? Let's build several more. Okay, here we go. No, not just three. All in different I built them directions. All around my base. I think there's probably like 20 of them, all gloriously facing different directions, not working as a team at all. I can't wait to see what happens when we fire them up. I kind of went around each one, too, and just kind of willy nilly chose a direction, thus guaranteeing that nothing works in unison. So let's fire them up and see what happens. One is clearly not enough. Fire up a second, still not enough. A third on the other hand. There we go, now we're cooking with gas. Oh, and it really looks like we're trucking right along. Can't wait to see what happens when I fire them all up. Okay, I think all 20 are fired up now. And despite some of these wheels trying desperately to go other directions, <laughs> seems like we're actually moving. I cannot imagine all the wasted potential happening from all of these paddles going different directions. Oh, you know what? That's a great idea for a name. I will call this USS <laughs> Wasted Potential. Yeah. Okay, uh. and now next, let's place the steering wheel. Invalid. Let's see. What about... Okay, I'll just put it on backwards. There we go. Now I can look at the radar and steer. Just, you know, backwards. Okay, this is harder than it looks. Guess that means we need to position this so the thing is on the bottom. Okay, and before you know it, we'll be there. Probably. All right, according to the readout, we're almost there. Soon we should be able to see it. <laughs> oh, we're here. Well, okay then. Now, Grace, I'm gonna need you on extra good behavior while I'm gone. You can do that for me, right? And to ensure that, I'm gonna leave some extra food Aww. for you. Be good and watch over the raft. 
Okay, good talk. I'm also gonna rotate this thing all the way, which means the raft should just rotate on its own. So, uh, hopefully it'll be here when I get back. I guess we'll see. Ah, here we are. What the heck is this? Watch out for He freaking left it again. He forgot to anchor it once more. Bears. Oh, I'll be watching, all right. <laughs> Okay, so just like the other places, we're actually here to get another code to go somewhere else. First, we need to beat up a bunch of bears. Stand back, nature. I told you. Oh, buddy, are you okay there? Did you die and all your bones disappeared? All right, not gonna lie, I've been distracted just slaying bears all night. Nothing brings me more joy than... Ah! What What just happened? Yeah, happened um, again. am I under the world? And me unable to appreciate my kill, which <laughs> just vanished again. You know, based on how the island is flickering in and out of existence, I'm gonna go ahead and say that my raft has dropped drifted a little bit. And I think it's causing really? some, shall we say, spatial anomalies. And also pretty sure it's not coming back. Okay, let's try this again. You know, I'm pretty sure the mistake is we didn't use an anchor. So let's see, let's just... <laughs> Yep, I'm sure that'll that do it. This child's thing is pale full everything. of rocks gripping onto this one square is gonna hold all this. So as mentioned, we're here for the next code. To do that, we have to go to three relay stations, fire the power back on. So that's one. Head on to the next. And that's A little bit two. Of, uh, and far three. Cry gameplay. Let's see, the computer now should show us the code. Yep, no missing that. Well, bless my lucky stars, the fleet is still there. Ah, good to be back. Grace, how you doing? Good? I'm great, thanks for asking. You stay down there. I'm gonna go up here and put in the new coordinates. Okay, so 7234 looks like it's going to take us all the way to 1994. <laughs> Untether the anchor and let's get out of here. By that, I mean enjoy this fade to white. Ta-da. There it is. Slowly coming into oh. view. Welcome oh, to that's Caravan entice, Town. Or whatever that sign says that I can't read backwards. Okay, you know the drill. Keep me anchored, child bucket. <laughs> so here we are at the new content. We're actually here for basically just one thing, and that's this zipline technology. There are three zipline parts somewhere in the city that we we need to find. So let's go through everyone's homes long dark style and see if we can- Wait, they still haven't ha added other people? Oh, that sucks. Like, I get it, you can play with friends still, but could be a bit better to like, as time progresses that you actually get to meet people. We can uncover some secrets. There's zipline part one, and if we follow this tube all the way down and deep into the ocean, way, way down at the bottom, there's part number two. And part three is in here. You gotta oh. launch this rocket with some explosive powder. Ah, and there's that's your part. Oh from. boy, it's time. Zip line. Wee! Ah, my <laughs> skull. A little rough on that re-entry, huh? And that's pretty much the most important thing we needed. Now, before we shove off to greener pastures, there's one last thing we need to find. And that is, of course, the code to the next place. That's what we're looking for. I'll just take that. Ah, Tanqueray. That must be where we're going next. Which, okay. hey, doesn't even seem to be that far away. Only 1,793 nautical somethings. Go ahead, Miles. turn the wheel, rotate the whole raft. And off we go kinda. So while we have some time to stare off at the beautiful horizon, wait for us to get ever closer to the next island, I'd say it's time to make some improvements to the raft. And by that, I mean some zip lines. Ooh. Okay, so let's see how this works. Let's put another one, like, over there. Okay, Grace, don't hurt me or break my <laughs> finger. But I refuse to stop pointing. So if the first one is right there, let's put the next one right here. Oh, God, I gotta connect them manually. Can I just jump off with this? Oh, yeah, I can. And it just stays with me the whole time. Alright, let's just connect that right like that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Time for a test run. We... But then, yeah, I mean, at least uh, yes, momentum is taken into first account. Test. So the next question is, can we connect multiple zip lines to the same little pole thing? Like if I put one here behind Grace's hidey hole, grab the end, and drag it all the way up to this one, can I connect it? Oh yep. my god. And as an added bonus, when I try and use it, it doesn't even work. I'm like <laughs> stuck on the stairs. Well, I think we know what this is gonna lead to. So <laughs> hold, please, while I test a few things. You're not supposed to play the game this way. I kinda okay, like that. Okay, so I have some findings. The findings are that you can place a hell of a lot of zip lines. So of course I wondered, is there a limit on how many zip lines you can have? And I am pretty certain that there is no limit. Or if there is- Does he simply just live to break game? I suppose that's what he does then. Okay, I, I, I get it. I get it now. I certainly couldn't find it. Let me give you the tour. This is it. This is the tour. You've seen it all now and it's hideous or beautiful depending on how you look. Welcome to my seafaring jungle gym. Pretty good. Hit use anytime and you'll grab onto something. And from there you can just jump from zip line to zip line. What a novel way to get around. <laughs> anyway, let's go up to the steering wheel thingy and see how we're doing. Thank God we can just walk right through the zip lines. Otherwise we would have been decapitated like a hundred <laughs> times. Uh, can't turn on the display. Game just wants me to ride zip lines. 
lines. What if I just climb all over this stuff? There we go. Oh, yeah. we're kind of close. Just got to course correct a little bit, and I'm sure we'll be almost there. Behold, Golf Ball Island. Whoa. Can't wait to explore what looks like a snow globe of Seattle. Okay, so let's just zip line our way all the way to the front. By now, I'm sure you know the drill. Oh, you know what I just realized, actually? You can just take this thing with you. Well, in that case, let's put it somewhere nice and secure. Yeah, this seems good. And now let's and go then exploring. Can't be magical. Yeah, you just stay there and stay magical. And here we <laughs> are. Ooh. If there's one thing I like about an advanced society like this Trash. one, it's being able to litter anywhere. Here, let me contribute. There you go. Oh, like no. Bioshock Infinite, where you will like find sandwiches everywhere. Shock me. No surprise there. That's okay. The feeling is mutual. You gonna behave now, buddy? Sure, you're not gonna mind if I take this key card, right? Okay, thank you. You just stay there and think about what you've done. Here, have some trash. So pretty much you just go around the city beating up these robots and taking their cards. Besides them, this place is abandoned. But thankfully for some of these buildings, I can use a key card to get in. And that's when the real fun begins. Also known as going through people's belongings. So after searching the city, what the game wants you to do is head up here. See that ladder? That's where we need to reach. Because then we can take it all the way to the top of the tower. The only way over to that thing is by taking this zip line from that building. And the entrance to that building is broken. And most certainly there's an intended way to do this. But I think I got a better idea. And it involves our raft. So thank God there's an exit door right <laughs> Right here. Test number one. Can I build straight into this thing? Let's see. So Me. far, so good. Aww. So the answer is no. Unless. What if I aim it straight Vertically. up this thing? I do have a tower right here. Let's see. So far. Oh. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, God, yes. I can't believe this is working. This is fantastic. <laughs> no building is out of reach for us now. Now that we've got help from the raft. Oh, my God, I'm so excited that this is working. Oh, looks like I ran out of materials. We did pretty good, though. Besides, that's the upper level. We can just jump down there. Easy, easy. <laughs> You're fine. Okay, where were we? <laughs> Let's see, what do we got here? Emergency bridge launch. Is that this? Am I in the bridge? What's out this door? Is this thing the bridge? Why would I want to launch this? You know what? I don't care. I'm not going to ask the hard questions. Okay, so let's see here. How many numbers am I working with? One... Two, three, this four. Be a four place numbers to find total. A code. Uh, I bet there's like a puzzle I have to do. Ugh, what's this? Uh, I bet this is a clue. That sounds like a lot of work. I got a much better idea. I'm just gonna try Bizarre. every possible combination in order. I'm sure this won't take very long, right? Oh, come on, date. Four, eight. One, two, four, <laughs> eight, one, three. Hey, I got it. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I guess oh. that was the bridge. What the hell kind of button is that? Why would you even want to do this? Whatever, let's just slide off the giant golf ball and take a look. They seem ow, to be very ow, happy to ow, launch ow. things in the Hello? air. Hello? Did I beat the dinner rush? Can I still get a reservation? Ah, uh, my favorite. More potential coordinates. Oh my uh, god, look at this end. note. I didn't realize that Discord, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter existed in this game world. Is Varuna Point just the Bay Area? Which we'll have to find out in the third chapter. Well, that's probably all the raft we got for now. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. I'm going to take yeah. a quick power nap before That's filling this whole place with zip lines and I'll see you next time. If there were a single sentence descriptor of what this is like, it's like the actual experience of a dude getting lost at sea and having to fare on their own to figure out what the hell is going on and then out of sheer spite just goes about building whatever they want. It's wonderful. But guys, thank you so much for this recommendation. As always, I highly recommend that you go and subscribe to the Let's Game It Out channel and uh, like that very video that we just watched. And of course, if you like this one, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Or if you didn't hit that dislike button, I like some fair criticism. That's it. I wish you all to have a wonderful day. See you guys in the next one.